Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDie.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Dyes Shorts. It is the 14th of October 2022 in case you are watching a replay. Hopefully you're here for um, the live premiere. I will be off to the side. So if you, um, and I'm watching live, so if you have any questions, just make sure you enter them in the chat and then I can um, answer them. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And Fridays I come to you with a um, kind of a short video and hopefully today's will be that. If you have never been to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I need to learn to sit still. I wiggle too much. Ants in my pants. I think that's what they call it. So anyways, but um, so I have a couple awesome new things to, to share with you that came the other day and uh, I know I have talked about them um, on a past video but I didn't actually have the the items to show you so now I can show you for real all right so I'm going to um, flip the camera just close your eyes for a second so you don't get um, seasick and let me get situated all right so um, I told you about the fitting florets now the this is a new um, collection that um, as being a demonstrator, we have a perk of being able to get things usually a month in advance before um, customers can. So that's what's happening with this here. So I got um, I got my stuff. So I want to show that to you. If you do not want to wait till November, because then it will be available for everybody in November, you can actually add this stuff. All this stuff I'm going to show you today, you can actually put in your starter kit. So it's an awesome deal because you could actually... Um, you have $155 you can put in your starter kit for only $99 and tax because Stampin' Up! pays the shipping. So I'm going to um, show you these things today. All right, so this is the Framed and Festive. Now a few of these things are while supplies last all right hold on limited time only all right so the gold adhesive backed swirls are these really cute embellishments and they make me think of the inside of like a watch or something but they're very very fun so these are limited time only um and the dsp all right so the dsp and the swirls and the framed and festive so is that what yeah okay I just wanted to make sure I wasn't telling a lie or fibbing or being confused because it's easy easy for me to be confused all right so framed and festive is while is it's like a limited time only um as well as the swirls I just showed you and the DSP okay so let's get to this. All right, then there's the framed floret. So it's this whole beautiful collection of things. And then you have these dies. So look how cool the dies are. So whenever you open, get your dies, always open them up because sometimes there's another cardboard. So I hate for you to like, you know, just to take these off and toss it and not realize there is a whole other bunch of um, embellish or dies so always take them apart and really look at what you have in your packet before you throw away the cardboards because usually I do I usually take them off of these cardboards and throw the cardboards away because they have that really really strong tape on there and it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt I love that it's strong because it keeps everything in together but if you're using your dies all the time I'm not a fan all right to be having it keep sticking so that's the two stamp sets the die and the embellishments so here is the DSP so let me get this open so now I have a new little square I was showing you the other day I have a new little square that I can keep 
And the colors that go with the Fitting Florets DSP are Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride, Crushed Curry, Evening Evergreen, Night of Navy, Polished Pink, and Soft Succulent. Woo, pretty. All right, and then what I usually do is I just, you know, cut four, 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 and it leaves me that four. All right, so let's see our DSPs. So it's very, very pretty. I love all the colors. And it's so fun to watch how these papers get designed. All right, so you've got an awesome kind of, um, it's not plain, but it's, it, it allows your eyes to rest, where this one is more busier. So there's those two. Then we have this one. Now this one is awesome because we can color in these and make it be like Christmas, right? It, you could change it almost to be like a Christmas paper. And then you've got that pretty blush on the back side. Oh, look at those. Sometimes I just want to frame some of the DSPs because it's just, it's just so pretty. All right, so there we have that. And then this is like a, it reminds me of a mini version of the first one I showed you. And the back is this, which is super fun. I love these colors. I'm a big blue jean girl. So this really in my mind is like, oh, that would go so good with blue jeans. Oh, so is this. So that's really neat. And that pink. So these two, I always like try to mix and match. These would be awesome together. And so would like this. Wouldn't these two look good together as well? And it would just bring this pink. It would make this pink pop if you did that all right and then I think there's one more on. I don't want to bend it all right there we have that oh look at that one oh gorgeous that blue and the green Ooh, I love anything gingham you know me and look at see look how cute this is together as well so what's fun is you can do a card and then just totally just turn back the corner and then you get a little sneak of what's on the back side so you can um, enjoy both sides of the paper if you don't want to actually um, cut it right all right so that is the DSP so if you are interested in getting it now easy peasy just add it to your starter kit and it's even a better value by doing that as well and da -da -da -da, this also came so this is the new birthday i'm gonna name that wrong it's a new birthday kit i just keep saying oh birthday card organizer kit so i got it pretty much right so we're gonna put play with this together all right so it's got a a bigger box than normal which is cool and I have just been keeping these boxes and I actually have my um, if you join my team I have welcome welcome boxes already and I've just been putting them all the things that you're getting in those kit boxes so they look super cute all right so I would love to send you one in the mail all right so let's see here we have this book and it looks like thicker than I thought it was so this is awesome they're calling it birthday organizer but I think you could really put any kind of cards like um, anniversary Easter you know whatever cards you send during the month I would just you know keep or you could get two you could have one be birthday and then one could be um, miscellaneous monthly cards right all right this is a nice piece of chipboard so I always hang on to my chipboard all right so we got some tear tape we got some bling bling glue dots and dimensionals we have some cute envelopes oh my gosh some cute gingham and stripe envelopes and then we have our cards. So this to me looks like it's it's just, it kind of is like that other kit, the um, one with the lunch pail that's in the mini catalog that you can still get. This one here, let me turn to it. Cause it's so fun. 
the Nourish and Flourish kit. So this one kind of reminds me of that because it looks like there's no stamping on this. So it's just put stuff together. Um, and the Nourish and, Nourish and Flourish is like that too. So you can still get this. This, it makes a great Christmas present because it comes with the fun little um, lunch pail. It's like a um, insulated lunch pail. So, and it comes in a, a nice sturdy box. So all you have to do is order it, it comes to you, you just wrap it. You don't even have to um, put it in another box. The box is already go. All right, so let's see our cards. So this one just makes me think that that's what this kit's gonna be like. So what I like to do is kind of get my pieces ready. So you do have different languages for the months. All right, so these are the other languages. Here we go, January, February, March, so there's all the English ones. And then we have our greetings there. So let's see how this is. Oh, so this is super cute. So this would be fun and like, so I could see having one of these for like a family, like, you know, this could be fa family birthday cards. And then maybe you have work birthday cards or my team, my birthday cards for my team. So it's great, like, cause it's just so inexpensive. And then that way you're not trying to like put everybody's birthday card that you know in one book, you can simply, you know, organized by making each book maybe be be something you know separate or whatever all right so look how cute so we have birthday so this is where our little january is going to go and what i would do is i would write in pencil as well because um like if you do use it for like like a work then maybe somebody doesn't work there anymore and then maybe you're not you know sending birthday and then you can erase the name so if you do it that for that way and plus i'm the worst person for making boo-boos so i would just use pencil all right so let's actually work on a card i'm like i get like so excited and and my mind just goes oh my gosh oh my gosh that all right so let's get this card and it needs one of these. This is really cute. It looks like ribbon. So it's like paper ribbon. So we need that. We also need some flowers. So this reminds me a lot of that cottage rose that I've been having fun with this week. So we need this. We need this. So these are all, um, pop them out. They're like, perforated so you could just pop them out all right and then it's also it's your day and these are a sticker so I'm not going to take these off but it's it's this one right here and then it, you have the different languages all right so that goes with that then we have let's see then we have this card with the cute polka dots. So I'm only going to do one card each. Because I'm probably going to keep them pretty simple. And just make them like it says. And then I can put other birthday cards in it. Alright, so that goes with that. And then we have... Oh wait, is it only two? Hang on. Oh, it's only two. All right, good, good, good. So it's only the two. And then it tells you glue dots or dimensionals on the back. And let's pull these out. And the bling bling. So this is a fun, this would be a great, you could even do, oh, that would be super. If you had this class and the lunch pail class like together and then you could put the cards that you make with the lunch pail in in here as well all right so let's see let's see let's see we want this here 
So these are super cute because that would be a quick, that would be a really quick class just because there's no stamping. It's just basically, it's just assembling. All right. So this right here, we're going to put this on. Now it tells you to use the tear tape, but I'm just going to use my seal. But what's nice is it's it's all inclusive. So if you are a new stamper or, you know, say you're putting your kit together, you know, at the ball game or something. All right, I'm going to get a grid sheet. And that's going to help me glue this straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my grid sheet, line my card up on the edge here. And then I can see that it's going to be straight. So that touches that one. And then this touches this one. And then we know we're straight. So I'm just using my grid sheet as my guide. So if, if you don't have the little baby grid sheets, these are, these are a great thing to have because they don't take up a lot of room. And I just, I use, I use a lot of them. Okay. So we want dimensionals on the big flower and glue dots on the small flowers. And I am using my spool of glue dots. It does come with these, so if you don't have, you know, the spool of glue dots. And then I might be playing around with some and do a little little coloring on these, maybe. Even though I said I wasn't going to mess with it, but this screams like it wants a little color. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, so let's put this on here. So I'm just basically getting my pieces. All right, you go. All right. So this goes on here. And I like that these are they're they're really simple, you know, because if you are a new stamper. But they're not super thick, so that it helps also if you're putting a bunch in your organizer. Right. Then we want this leaf, which actually kind of looks cool, black and white, now that I think about it. And then the colored one. So this is, like this would take no time at all to do. This would be a fun lunch hour thing. If you do like to stamp at work, you could have everybody order their kit and then you put it together during the lunch hour. All right, so we have our cute polka dotted. And, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot my greeting, so hold on a second. It's your day. So this stuff right here is sticky. So it's like a, like a sticker. All right, so that's gonna go here. I'm gonna stick it up underneath the flower because it's already sticky. It's showing it on top, but then it's going, you'd have to put more adhesive on there because it would be touching this. That's got, you know, it's sticking up. So I'm putting it underneath and it looks cute that way. All right, so there's that one. And it goes with this cute envelope. Oh my gosh. All right. Then we have this polka dotted one with the triangles. With the triangles. Bah, 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 bah. I want this. So it goes this way. Then we have these triangle things. So this one's kind of cool. It's almost like we have a boy card and a girl card. And sometimes doing um, masculine can be a little um, stressful. All right, I'm gonna use green tip glue just so it gives me a little wiggle room. So I know they gave you tear tape, 
and I could use seal like I did on the other one but I want this I want to be able to get this in place so I want to have a little bit of wiggle room so that goes on there and then we're just going to take this other one here and it goes along here so it gives you that that angly thing which is super cool so I love that this is definitely a guy card I mean it could be for a girl too but it's neat that they did do you know masculine and feminine not all girls like flowers let's see so these would be a great thing because then you could have these cards all ready to go and then people at your work they could you could be the card person and they'd go oh it's Jane's birthday um we need a card and then you all sign it and that would be good I know at Jeff's work he's always like it's so-and-so's birthday I need a card all right so these are also a sticker So it goes on here as well but let me show you what you can do so I want to put this on with dimensionals but it's very tacky so I'm gonna take my and I'm looking all over for it here it is I'm gonna take my uh, this thing <laughs> it is the embossing buddy a little embossing buddy and I just put this on here just so that my fingers aren't getting all over it and it comes with this which is in the mini catalog so it comes with this which has the tweezers which I I swear every time I go to show you the tweezers it has the tweezers it has the brush um, I think that's it let's look in the mini catalog because it is super fun we had we didn't we had the um, embossing buddy years ago and then we you know we stopped getting it it doesn't come with this obviously all right so it comes yeah so those three things so for 27 you've got your tray your tweezers your brush and then your embossing buddy so it's super cool that's in the mini catalog so what you can do is if you have something that is sticky see how sticky it is because now it is stuck to my tray <laughs> all right so let me put this away so we're going to use our embossing buddy and we're just going to tap 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 on this and what that does is it puts that embossing buddy stuff and it takes the tackiness away so that now I can put my happiest birthday, I can put it on with so it takes the tackiness off so now I can put this on with dimensionals so I'm just kind of rubbing it on my pants to get some of the powder off it but now cuz see it's not gonna stick if I had to put dimensionals on it when it had all that tacky on it then if it got squished down onto the card it would stick in these areas and not just where I have it raised with the dimensionals so I want to do one where it's raised up a little bit just to make this one be not so plain and you wouldn't have to do that with all of them but I kind of like having that you know sit up a little bit then have it just be stuck to the card so that's a great way if um, if you want to do the same thing with any of these if you want to make it be where it's not sticky where you can you put some dimensionals behind there um, just use your embossing buddy okay so where is my envelope for this card is this one here 
Okay, so we have our two cards done. Now, of course, we'll keep doing the rest of the cards, but let's go to our book. All right, so hold on a second. Let's go to our book. I did not put any bling. I think, I don't remember it saying anything about the bling. I think you just put the bling wherever you want. Oh no, it shows it. Now that I'm looking, it shows it. It just doesn't, um, it just does not, oh, here it is here. Oh my gosh, I'm like blind. So see, it shows them right here. They're just real small. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they have not heard about the odd number. So I'm gonna put five. So I'm going to put five. So I'm just going to push them off with my pick tool. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. So now we've got a little bit of bling on there. Okay, so let's now bring our book over and try not to lose all of our stuff. So let's see what it says to do with the book. So basically, so these are, okay, that just tells what to get. All right, let's bring our book over. So we have January, and these are also sticky. Now I would not make these stick out because it will just make your book be you know, fatter and fatter. All right, so we have January. It looks half in the center there. All right, and then, so I wanna make sure I'm not doing this wrong. All right, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, okay. January, February, and I'm not going to do the whole book. You don't need to see me do the whole book. And I'm just trying to have this be about the same distance there. That kind of helps it be a little, a little straight. So we're going to do the whole book. I like that there is actually um, a pocket. There's a pocket there and a pocket here. So that's good for um, maybe you have stamps, postage stamps. You can stick your postage stamps in there as well. And super, super cool. This is for a name. So this could be what you do like, um, these are your, the work or your team or your family, or maybe you know your husband's family has a book, your family has a book, um, just, for organizing, right? This gives you quite a bit of play though, right? Like it, you've got quite a bit of a spiral here. So I think you could make it be kind of, you know, pretty fat. But for me, I just think it would be easier, you know, to maybe have um, a different book for, for different occasions or whatever. Okay, so let me turn and say, see you later, alligator. All right. Um, so yeah, so hopefully those were um, a couple of things that I did talk about the other day and now I was able to show you. So um, what do you, what would you do with the book? Um, we don't get, it's not like, I mean, we still get bills, but we don't necessarily get paper bills anymore because I was thinking it would be um, good, good for that. Like, you know, put your utility bill, you know, but like I'm, then I got thinking, I'm like, most of them are all online anymore. So anyways, but so give me some ideas what you would do with this cute, um, cute little book. I love it. So hopefully um, you, this will help you decide if you need these in your um, stamping stash or not. If you do want information on the fitting florets so you can join my team and get that stuff now um, make sure you let me know so I can give you item numbers and all that stuff I do have a flyer on my blog so you can also grab it there and um, otherwise I will stop blabbing have a great weekend and I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist and that will be three o'clock Arizona time same time 
same channel. Thanks so much for spending some time with me this week. I really appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Bye for now.